بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عن جابر رضي الله عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن من أحبكم إلي وأقربكم مني مجلسا يوم القيامة حاسنكم أخلاقا وإن أبغضكم إلي وأبعدكم مني يوم القيامة الثرثارون والمتشدقون والمتفيهقون قالوا يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قد علمنا الثرثارون والمتشدقون فما المتفيهقون قال المتكبرون رواه ترمذي وقال حديث حسن الثرثار هو كثير الكلام تكلفا والمتشدق المتطاول على الناس بكلامه ويتكلم بملء فيه تفاصحا وتعظيما لكلامه والمتفهق أصله من الفهق وهو الامتلاء وهو الذي يملا فمه بالكلام ويتوسع فيه ويغرب به تكبرا وارتفاعا واظهارا للفضيله على غيره وروى الترمذي عن عبد الله بن مبارك رحمه الله في تفسير حسن الخلق قال هو طلاقة الوجه وبذل المعروف وكف الاذى Jabir may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala be pleased with him reported that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the dearest and nearest among 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 you the dearest and nearest among you to me on the day of resurrection will be one who is the best of you in manners and the most abhorrent among you to me and the farthest of you from me will be the pompous the garrulous and al-mutafayhiqun the companions alayhim the companions alayhim ridwanullah ta'ala asked him o messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam we know about the pompous and the garrulous but we do not know who al-mutafayhiquna are he sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied the mutafayhiqun are uh, who, he he sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied the arrogant people al-mutafayhiqun are the arrogant people, meaning they do not know the meaning of the word al-mutafayhiq because uh, all these words all these words have to the meaning of all these three words these three words has to do with the the, the what to do with the tongue with the talking the way a person talk a tharthara when a person talks too much and al mutashaddiq also is a way of um from a way of talking in a way that is an, is arrogant and meaning all these ways of talking are arrogant ways but the very last one they do not know how, what it what it meant the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam him being the most eloquent implies that he also had gathered the entirety of arabic language there is no vocabulary we didn't know even though the, even the people who came from different places he used to talk to them according to their dialect their local dialect that's how he was alayhi salatu wassalam mm-hmm. that's why sometimes he would use some word they didn't know before there are words in the dictionary of arabic today people never heard it before the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam there is a very famous jumla he uttered during the uh, battle of hunayn al an hamiyal watis 
eloquent jumla, but the Arab never heard it. And today, when things are difficult, when the battle is uh, it's extreme, they use that word, and have your word, please. And there was, that word never, was never heard before Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When Hamiya al Waqis is to show how serious things have become. How, because that was the, you know, Ghazwat Hunain, they had a lot of people with them. And they, they said, today we will not be overcome because of number. Because we, have, we are big in number. You know, but Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala didn't want them to depend on the number. And Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala showed them the power of the enemy until they knew that it wasn't about the number. Then the Prophet Sallallahu when he called them back, because he never back up, he was going, saying, Anan Nabi Yula Kadi, Anabnu Abdul Mutalib, Anabnu Abdul Mutalib. And he told us, Abbas to call back people. When people came back and they faced the enemy, and uh, it was very serious. Then he used that word, Jumla. Al-an, Hamiy al Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib was asked, who amongst you was the most brave? He said, the one who was the closest to Rasulullah. When you were next to him in the battlefield, you didn't feel anything but just to go in because that's what you felt, what you, what you saw in front of you. And his shaja'a would give you shaja'a. May Allah reward him on our behalf. Allahumma barik lana fi rajab wa shahban. Wa balighna ramadhan. Adha wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin. Ala alihi haqqa qadrihi wa al-miqdarihi al-azim.